Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is counting bits. So let's start. The problem statement goes like this, that you are given an integer n, return an array answers of length n plus 1, such that for each i from 0 till n, answer of i is a number of 1s in the binary representation of i. Okay, so you just have to return an array from 0 till n plus 1, which is including all the numbers from 0 till n, such that every number in that array represent how many bits are set or how many bits are one in the binary representation of that current number okay that's the problem statement now what you can see is that it is pretty much simple to get the binary representation of a number and count out so what they have told is that it is very easy to come up with a solution in of runtime of o of n log n because in log n time you can calculate out the bits and for o of n you can directly just iterate over all the numbers to calculate out the array. So O of n log n is pretty much simple. Now the problem statement now comes down to that you can do it in linear time O of n. Okay, that's the complete problem statement. How can you do that? For any problem in which you want to reduce the time obesity, you have to somehow find out some patterns. Okay, so I highly recommend you that first try to draw out for at least three or four text examples and see what pattern they are trying to observe. Let's try to do it for here itself. So let's take an example that i have initially all zeros let's say i just make a four bit number and uh, it, it can be larger also but i'm just taking example of four bit number this is zero if this is zero i have to somehow count how many number of ones are there in this particular thing if i somehow move to one it will be zero 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 and one so this is the bit representation okay the bits representation bits representation of that and this is the number itself Okay, now if I move to 2, what you can see is that it will be 0, 0, 1, 0, then 3 will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 4 will be, if I just try to write down for till 5 and then we find out some pattern, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, and then from 5 equal to 0, 1, 0, 1. So the first thing which generally just hit me is that whenever I am going from odd numbers, I am always writing down 1, 1 at the end. And all the even number as you can see doesn't have anything at the end so whatever number of ones I have at this above let's say uh, let's say if I somehow calculate out the number of bits in this number then in this state I'm just adding a bit at the end which is like adding one more bit so if I know how many bits are there stored for this number n equal to 2 then I can just add 1 to it that will be the number of bits in 3 okay similarly for n equal to 4 how many bits n equal to 4 will be having depend like uh, we do not know let's say we do not know how many n, n equal to 4 is storing but for if i want to know how many n of n equal to 5 it will be n of 4 plus 1 okay because i'm just adding 1 at the very end so it generally means that i have to somehow make a dp dp table be, dp table generally just means that i have to store the values for all the answers to get the value for next answer okay somehow because the current state the current answer depends upon some previous state so for n equal to odd, you can directly just get the answer by n equal to n minus 1. So i minus 1. So if for any ith number that is odd, the answer will be i minus 1. Now let's say which is an even number just before it, plus 1. That is the number of bits stored for that particular odd number. Now coming down to all the even numbers, how can I find out for all the even numbers? What you can directly observe for even numbers also that the even numbers have 0 at the very end. Now, if I have 0 at the very end, what you can do is that you can take that number. If I just take any, let's say 6 also. If I take 6 also, what you can understand that is 0, 1, 1, 0. So, all the even number has 0 at the end. Now, if I somehow take this particular number, whatever number at the even I have, and if I right shift it one time, right shift means that shifting all the bits one point on the right side one time. So, if I shift all the bits to the right side, this, because the size of this remains same, Shifting just, just means that there's a window. This is the complete number. And shifting means that the, the rightmost bit goes out of, let's say, out of this complete window. And all the bits are shifted to the one step on the right hand side. So this will eventually become 0, 0, 1, 1. You can just see that if I just shift all of this by one thing, and the one that is coming from the very left to the right is 0 always. So this is somewhat become like this. Now what you can see is that this is 0, 0, 1, 1. And 0, 0, 1, 1, is actually this number only that is 3 so what you can see is that because i have left, left sorry right shifted it completely this will eventually be decreased to a smaller number 
because it is decreased to a smaller number what it eventually means is that i have already calculated out the value for that because it's a smaller number and i already know how many bits it has also because i have already right shifted one time and removed only one zero i am not adding any number of ones so the number of ones in this portal number just will be equal to the number of ones in some previous number which i can get by taking this number and right shifting it one time okay that is the complete logic you can use to find out the number of ones bit in this portal number so for even number you can use and shift it one space on the right like like right shift one time and whatever number it becomes by doing a right shift will be the same number of bits which that number has will be the number of bits this number has and for all the odd numbers just take the previous number uh, number of bits they have plus one and you can get the number of bits for this particular odd number as well that's the complete logic that you have to use here let's go to the code part now so we have to now find out for all of them from i equal to 1 till i equal to n. Now we have to just check for whether the ith number is an even or odd. If it's an even, let's say if it is, a, let's say, uh, let's say odd number, let's say if it is odd number, then what you'll do is whatever odd number you have, okay, let's say i equal to, this is the odd number, then like either you can write it down like this or what you can do is just take answer of i minus 1 plus 1. Okay, that's a complete thing. Nothing much complicated here as well. So that is the number of number of odd, like for odd numbers. And for even numbers, just take like whatever i is number you have and right shift it one time. Okay, then it will convert to a new number, and that new number will be also stored in this particular uh, array, uh, which is this let's say answer array that is a DPR you can also say. And whatever number it converted to, just search how many bits that number has in the answer array. And that will be the number of bits this particular ith number will also have. And just use this particular uh, logic to get the values for even and odd numbers. And in the end, whatever answer you want, uh, that is the complete array of all the n minus n plus 1 numbers. You will just print it out. That's it. That's the complete logic on the code part for this particular problem. Now, it's pretty much simple that you have now used for every current ith number previous value. So, you have not do, done some extra calculation. So, it will be again O of n in the time complexity, but also O of n in the space complexity. Okay, now if I if I've used this particular approach in this, the time complexity will be O of n log n, but the space will be zero. Okay, that's the only logic and the code part for not zero, but like O of one's constant. So that's the logic and the code part for this particular problem as well. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box of this particular video. I will see you in next coding and bye.